let's take a look at Microsoft's brand new web browser, Microsoft Edge. This is a great browser. A lot of people have had a lot of issues with Internet Explorer. Um, so Microsoft decided that it was time to branch off from that brand and do something new. So the greatest thing about Microsoft Edge is that it's fast and Microsoft is going to allow it to use extensions, much like basically all other modern web browsers. I'm using this in touch mode just to demonstrate that it is very easy to use whether you're using a touch screen or a mouse and keyboard. So what you see here is the home screen, the start screen. When you open up Microsoft Edge, you can choose to have it show a specific website, perhaps if you have a website that you need to go on to very frequently, or you can have it show this page. What this page is really is a collection of news stories, whether basically if you're using a Microsoft account, this is going to be useful because it's going to show you information that you're likely to, uh, to want to see. So as you can see here, it's showing the weather in the area that I am from. So right there showing the weather uh, and it knows that because I'm signed in with my Microsoft account. It's also showing news stories based on my interests. I can swipe through these things. You, you'll see it's also showing me a suggestion on how to use Microsoft Edge. And then there's also a suggestion from Microsoft about games that I might want to download from the Windows Store. So that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. So you may find yourself on this page every time you open the browser finding something to read. Opening up a new tab is very simple. You just touch the plus icon there and then it will show suggestions on this new tab page as well. So these are sites that I happen to visit frequently and that's why those are showing up there. So YouTube, Wikipedia, eBay. You can also see here that I have visited Netflix and it's suggesting that I open the app instead. So that's pretty interesting. As you can see, you can customize this page if you would like to and you can click down here to show your news feed. One of the greatest new features of modern web browsers is the reading mode. So if you scroll through most websites, you're going to have videos playing, you'll have social buttons, advertisements, things like that. A lot of the times it's, that's okay, it's easy to deal with, but if there's a particularly long article, it might be nice to just kind of get those things out of the way. So you can tap on the icon up there for the book, and what it's going to do is put that into reading mode. Now when you're using a tablet, of course you can rotate your display so that it shows the other way, which might make it a little bit easier. If you go into the settings, you can change this so that it's a little bit more comfortable. If you're reading at night, you might want it on dark mode. Now you can change the size of the font to make things a little bit easier to read if you'd like as well. So that's another great feature. Perhaps you are someone who owns a website or a blog, you're a web developer maybe, or maybe you just want to share something on a web page, something particular, not the entire page. That's where this great annotation mode comes in, which is particularly useful if you have a device that has a pen like the Surface Pro 3 that I'm using here. So I've entered this annotation mode here now, and I can go ahead and say, maybe highlight this text or I could draw an arrow to something if I wanted to bring attention to something in particular. And then of course you can go ahead and delete those annotations or if you needed to, you could actually even add a comment. So that's one of the kind of interesting f newer features that's available in this. And then this go ahead, if you were to save it, it would go and save to OneNote, or you could hit share and it will share the page. You have different options of how you want to share that. Even though Bing is a pretty decent search engine, a lot of people dislike using it. So like most modern web browsers, if you go to a new tab and you start typing in the address bar, the address bar doubles as a search bar. By default, in Microsoft Edge, this bar here is going to search with Bing. If you prefer a different search engine, let's say Google, that's okay. You can go into the advanced settings and then as you can see you can hit add new and then you can choose a different search provider. For some reason right now only Google is showing up here. I have seen other ones in there in the past. Now if you're someone who prefers to see your favorites right up near the top here you can turn on the favorites bar. 
Up at the top here, this is how you access important things. This is your hub. So as you can see here, if I go ahead and tap on that, I can see downloads, my browsing history, the reading list, and the favorites bar. So you can kind of go through all of those different things. And if you want to pin any one of these, then you have that option as well. So that's Microsoft Edge. Thanks for watching.